Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be favorites. I am smitten with house stuff. I have a plethora of house stuff. I have a good variety of things today though too because I also have beauty products and um, of course my wines. I always have my wines and rest, just a whole bunch of good stuff today. I'm so excited that you are here. Um, welcome if you are new. I would love to have you subscribe. If you're enjoying today's makeup look, I did just film a, um, a very brutally honest honestly, <laughs> very brutally honest, uh, get ready with me for this makeup look. So I will link that look below in the description box. Maybe I'll remember to put it up here in a card. So if you want to know anything that I'm wearing, um, that can all be found over there. So let's start off with my wine. So this past few months, I've been trying a lot of different wines. And if you want to know the wines that I recommend and I'm drinking, I will direct you over to my Instagram because I always post things I recommend over there. Um, but this was kind of a fun thing that I got in the mail. So there's this company and it is called In Good Taste. And basically they send you like an at-home wine tasting set. However, it's basically one full glass. So it's not like you just get a little sip. So the wine director for this company, his name is Matt Smith, and he's the former wine director for Kendall Jackson. If you are at all curious about how this company came about, I think it's just a great way to sample new wines by the glass. And I think, like I said, this is good for transporting, maybe bringing it to the beach. You don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, like my, my bottle's gonna tip over or anything like that. I just think that the smaller size is really cool. It's called In Good Taste, and they sent me a sampler of different wines that they have inside the sampler. And each of the wines come with a card so it kind of explains a little bit about where the grapes are growing, how to pair it, some facts about the wine. Um, some of my absolute favorites are the Balance of Powers Napa Valley Cabernet um, and then the Balance of Powers Red Blend were fantastic. Also really enjoyed the Chardonnay and the Rosé, but they're so cute. These are perfect for like picnics, packing them in a little basket and going out with your family to the park or wherever um, because they're small and they're compact. And each bottle is a full glass of wine. I think, I think it actually might be a little bit over, um, it's 187 milliliters. So I think that's just a smidge over like your typical glass of wine. So anyways, I wanted to share this because I think this is a great way to try some new wines or maybe you're a single person and you don't wanna like buy a bunch of bottles because then you have to commit to drinking the wine once it's opened. I know I feel like that a lot where I just want a glass of wine but once the bottle's open then I know I'm probably gonna go back for a second glass or my husband will drink it and then I won't get the second glass. So I think this is a really neat way to try some new wines but also not have to commit to maybe a full size. Maybe you just want to have a glass of wine and then be done with it. So after wine, we can't help but talk about recipes, food. Um, a few recipes that I tried that are fantastic. Mac and cheese, homemade mac and cheese. You have to try this recipe. It is fantastic. It makes a good amount and if you're gonna reheat it, just throw that same container back into the oven and it reheats really well because it starts off so creamy. I don't know about you, but when you make a pasta dish with a cream sauce or any sort of sauce, it's really great the first time, but it's hard to reheat the second time without it getting really dry and crunchy and it's kind of a battle, honestly. But this mac and cheese starts out so cheesy in the beginning that it doesn't lose that integrity in the reheating process. And as the noodles sit in the sauce, you know, they're gonna absorb the sauce, but it's just, it's just a really well-written recipe. So I'm gonna leave that one below. Creamy beef and shells. Oh my gosh, if you're craving a good comfort meal. I had nothing left after I made this. Like my, I think it was my son that had like three bowls. So good. You have to try that. And then last, certainly not least, um, s'mores ice cream. So as you know, I got an ice cream maker for Christmas and we have been her churning the cream around here. Let me tell you. We're actually gonna make this again for my son's birthday. Um, but he requested a s'mores cake with the s'mores ice cream. So this recipe is a little bit more labor intensive than what we typically do for making ice cream because you can make a really good ice cream with like two, three ingredients, honestly. But this one is worth the effort. You guys, mm, so good. So anyways, those three recipes you must try. So we're still in the kitchen, right? Um, I wanted to share with you this. This is off of Amazon. It's a cute little book that actually, it corresponds to the ladies' cookbooks. Like this is her little note. Um, it's empty, like it's just plain note paper like that. But I keep this in my kitchen and this is where I write down my grocery list. So that way you have it 
in your kitchen when you run out of something you can just go over to the basket at the end of the counter and jot down on your grocery list what you ran out of um, but I wanted to share it because it's beautiful I also leave this out on display because this is me right here color food bright colors variety variety of textures um, the lady who um, has cookbooks I've shared them with you before I'll link those as well but she also she does watercolor and she paints and like it's just it is a beautiful little notebook I don't know about you but I like to have pretty papers and pretty papers to write notes on um, especially if you're gonna leave them out on your counter I'm just really super OCD about what's on my counter and I just it's just a thing okay so it has to be pretty and it has to be aesthetically pleasing to my eye to leave it out on my counter I don't like just any old stuff laying out so I wanted to share that with you because that is what I discovered is a great little notebook for groceries grocery lists or any kind of lists really um okay so Jacqueline Hill put out a pantry organization video and I thought that was really random because <laughs> she's like a beauty channel right but we can all branch out we can all be diverse and share what we want that's the beauty of having a channel and she showed me her pantry and I saw these jars and I'm like oh man and then she said they were from the container store and I'm like I have to get those because I don't like to look at bags and boxes in my pantry I like to look at food so like I take potatoes out of the bags and put them in a bin um, everything's like in baskets or in containers and I like to just see food when I open my pantry and not like brands and boxes and crumpled up bags and it just that's chaos to me so she had these jars and she put nuts in them I'm like that is perfect because I have a variety of nuts and I use them for all kinds of things but they're really ugly to look at bags that are half sealed and fallen over and so these come in three different sizes I have um, I don't know what size honestly I don't know what sizes these are I'll just link them below but they, I think there's like four different sizes and I ordered more that are still not here yet um, but they come in other colors too but I really like the bamboo lighter wood they come in a darker cap I think they come in black there might have been a gray there's different like uh, styles of these but I like these they have a top that really suctions on nicely and they're stackable so you can see there's a it's a little bit um, recessed right there so depending on your pantry they're stackable if you're really short on space you don't want to lay them like this you can put them like this I just think they're genius and they're really pretty I like to look at things that are pleasing like I love to open my cupboard now and I see all my containers and all I see is food and not bags and boxes and chip clips and ugh. I know I swear I'm getting more I don't even know what the word is as I get older I thought I would start to relax a little bit more but I'm getting I'm getting a little bit out of control honestly okay let's transition over to some beauty stuff for a moment all right I didn't know how much I missed this product until it has been missing in my life I had used it up a while ago and I've just been kind of committing to using other things and I was like you know what I miss that and I've been using this and um, yeah love it the biologique research however you say that lotion p50 1970 it's an exfoliator it's a toner it's a chemical exfoliant it's my daytime exfoliator so at nighttime I use retinol or I use the drunk elephant glycolic TLC serum but during the day I had not been exfoliating for some time and my skin I don't know I don't know I think it's okay it's okay uh, but I was kind of feeling like you know what it's starting to get kind of clogged looking so I need to incorporate a daytime exfoliator this stuff is legit okay it is expensive but truly it lasts a while you don't need much of this it also stinks I'm gonna tell you that straight up it kind of smells like vinegar it doesn't linger well honestly if you get it in your hair it's totally gonna linger it's not a pleasant smell but who cares I mean it, it's amazing it does wonderful things for your skin how many times do you eat stuff that tastes like crap <laughs> but it's so good for you like kale or well actually I, I like kale now I didn't used to but I'm just saying like we do it because it's good for us um, this stuff is bomb bomb diggity it's great okay another product uh, the pixie hydrating milky cleanser I use this in the shower so it's like my morning wash my face off kind of situation this is a great little little cleansing cream it's not drying 
I like the consistency. I prefer cleansers that are creamy. I don't like anything too too gel-like. Um, I find that it's not hydrating enough and really strips my skin. Actually, my hard water strips my skin. We have stupid hard water. So hard. Like, it's... My hair takes a beating. My skin takes a beating. We're all just getting beat up living here. <laughs> I know we need to get one of those water softeners, but our long story short, our house isn't plumbed for it, so it would cost... You'd have to hire a plumber to plumb it and then buy the thing, and then it's, it's expensive, okay? And since we're not going to be here for, for forever... We figure a few years we can deal with it. Anyways, like you needed to know that. I like this cleanser. It doesn't strip my skin. This, I've shared this before, but the Drunk Elephant F-Balm, if your skin needs a boost of hydration or like you want it to look really plump in the morning, this. I mix this with their uh, marula oil or any sort of beauty oil, really. Um, and then you got some serious hydration going on. Once again, dry skin. I don't have dry skin, but hard water with perhaps not enough moisture, like like a moisturizer that's not giving me enough of what I need, creates a really big problem. Um, and this has solved it. So this is actually a mask, it says. So it's a cooling, quenching, overnight mask plumps and restores with an electrolyte cocktail well, strengthening the skin's acid mantle. All I know is that my skin looks so plump in the morning when I use this. I've almost been using this nightly, um, and that's probably not the best thing to do, but I've noticed my skin's been really plump lately, and I like that look because as you age, things just, like, disappear. Like, the plumpness just goes away. Like, before you were complaining, you know, like, oh, my face looks fat, and now we're like, how do I get my face to look fat? It's like, <laughs> you know, life is interesting, right? Anyways, this F-Balm stuff is really good. This combo. This is a great combo. This has been my daily... Uh, combo so I take a little bit of the Elta MD Broad Spe Spectrum SPF 41 sunscreen. It's lightly tinted, very lightly. But if you mix it with the DeBronzy, it comes out to be a really great color, first of all. And I get such good coverage with this. Like it evens out my redness, I get my SPF, and I get a little bit of an all over glow situation. I personally have been loving this. I also mix this in with my foundation to kind of deepen it up um, because it's going to inevitably be too light, be too light like the shade. Um, but this is such a good combo. I just love how it makes me look summery, bronzy, and glowy, but it's also SPF. So, And it's easy. I just squirt it together, smush it in my hands, put it on my face, and that's it. During this pandemic, I've noticed that a lot of places have been doing sales. And the Josie Marin website, I went on there to order, you know what? And I never even got that, now that I think about it. I went on there to order my daytime moisturizer. I use her Daily Argon Moisturizer SPF 47. I went on that website to order that because they were having like, I don't know, 25 or 30% off. I'm like, well, that's good. That's better than Ulta or Sephora. And long story short, I ended up ordering this. And when I got the box here, there were two of these in the box. I accidentally ordered two. <laughs> I didn't want to order two. I wanted to order... I don't know what happened. Like, I I know it wasn't a late night order session, so I can't blame it on the wine. But who knows? Who knows? Anyway, so this is the Skin Dope Argan Oil Plus 100 milligrams CBD. Another really, really great moisturizer. I've been loving mixing this in at nighttime with my... Um, nighttime moisturizers, but it also is fantastic for hands. I don't know about you, but my hands are showing my age. Um, it kind of stinks, honestly. It kind of smells like med medicinal. Well, I'm sure, I don't know, it's, it's kind of stinky, but it's super hydrating. Um, and it's not a greasy oil, you know, like it really soaks into the skin well, but I've been using this just like you see, like on my arms, and I've also been using it on my uh, decollete here. I'm so stinking dry. It's like, look, I put lotion on and it just absorbs in and it's gone in no time. But this is another really great, super hydrating oil. I've been loving even it on my cuticles here. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys as well. Let me just bring this bush up here. I'm not about to show you the bush. <laughs> I'm about to show you what the bush is sitting in. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, I am not one to stop at Target's dollar spot. I'm not a frugal person per se, 
Okay, I am not one to browse the Target Dollar Spot very much, but lately, you know that thing I showed you over there on that shelf, that Let's Cuddle sign? Ever since I found that, I'm like, you know what, I should just stop and look, just because. I walked into Target, you know it's right there, and I saw this vase, and I'm like, that's perfect, I love it, I bought two. I bought two because initially I thought, well, what if one breaks? They were like $5. What if one breaks? I need a backup because I don't want to be without it. But now I have this in my bedroom and then I have the other one in my bathroom. But $5 at the Target dollar spot. How cute is this? So, like, my personal style is kind of, kind of farmhouse. But not like chickens and cows farmhouse, but more like just rustic. And a little element of cottage, a little bit of whimsy, lots of color. So I just have, um, ugh. Um, where did I get these? These are from Target too. These, these, these things I found over in the, I don't know, the decorating section. <laughs> and then the hydrangeas I think I bought at, uh, Michael's. But these flowers are super cool. They're from Target, but this is so cool. Five bucks. Love it. Really into, like, blacks and whites right now. Um, okay, there's that. So as you know, um, well, and if you don't, you will know, um, I have really enjoyed having a set table like you know like you put the placemat and you put the charger on there and just okay and I know it's a little bit high maintenance and I do have to take it down every time we eat at the table it's not a big deal it literally takes we're talking seconds here um but that being said it just really makes my house feel like a home it's just it's finished it looks nice and it's inviting these are from hearth and hand with magnolia at target they're just a nice navy blue stripe white placemat looks like so and i'll insert a picture of what this tablescape looks like on my table but i bought those and i think these are really not just like farmhouse i think these could go very nautical if you wanted to do like a summer coastal type theme um they could really just be any style they could be modern just whatever they're i like to buy things that are versatile because i change my style and i change what i like to look at and i change the color scheme in my house and so I like to buy things that are pretty versatile. Um, and then these, these were on clearance, these napkins from um, Hearth and Hand again. I, I mean, these were like, I don't know, five, six dollars um, for a whole set of them. And they match the other place maps that I showed you, uh, if you've seen that video, my modern farmhouse haul. And then these are also from Target, these uh, napkin ring holders. And I just, I don't know, I just kind of throw the napkin in and be done with it. If you're curious how, I literally just take the napkin grab the center and throw a ring over it. I don't do, I look, try to look up like some fancy folds and stuff. It wasn't working out too well. And you know what, I'm just, just not a fancy person. I'm really casual, casual, I wouldn't use the word laid back. That's not a word to describe me, but I'm really casual and it's okay if it looks a little misshapen. and it's, yeah, it's fine. And then I got these dinner plates. These were $2.99 and they're the melamine. So you can put these in the dishwasher. Don't put them in the microwave. Um, I just, I hand wash a lot of my stuff recently. I broke my dishwasher for the second time. And so I've been hand washing like crazy, hence the really dry skin. And um, so I'm just kind of gotten in the habit of washing these. It's not a big deal. They just clean up in no time. But these are just a nice basic black and white. Is that black or is it gray? It's black. It's just a nice little stripe. It's actually, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the detail on that, but it's not a straight stripe. It's got a little bit of interest there. So I put those and then they're all sitting on these chargers did I get these at Target you can find these kind of chargers all over the place you can find them at at home um, you can find them at uh, probably home goods Walmart has chargers and stuff like this but they're just a rattan charger kind of beachy but doesn't have to be if you don't want it to be but yeah so that's kind of like my current tablescape so I had only been to the at-home store once prior to recently, once in Mississippi, because that was the only home store, I think it was the only home store close by. We had never been to it before. Oh, I know what it was. I was looking for this chair, or, well, I didn't buy this there, but a chair like this for my makeup area, and it was like the only store next to Ashley Furniture. I don't even think they had a Pier 1 or, oh, they did have a Pier 1. Anyways, I digress. Um, so we went to the at-home store recently, and it's huge. <laughs> like, it's huge, and it's really inexpensive. Like, really inexpensive. It's a great place to buy a bunch of home decor. 
um, if you have kids or family or if you just don't want to spend a million bucks, but be able to really update a space. So I found these cute little drawers and I have them in our craft area and these have crayons in them, but I bought some for my daughter. She has a bunch of different like beads and crafting things. Um, and then I bought a three, there's like a three slot one for her pens and pencils and markers and stuff like that. But they're super cute because my craft storage area is just all open shelves and it's actually just right over here next to my dining room. Someday um, I would love to have like a craft room. But anyways, the shelves are all exposed. So I like to have things organized in baskets or containers that are cute because you can see all of this stuff. But it, if you don't see it, you're not going to grab for it. And for the kids, it really needs to be open so they can just grab. But I thought these drawers were so cute. Did I leave the price tag on these? $6.99. Super cute. Just really rustic little situation. There's different sizes. This is actually one of the smaller sized ones, but I thought that is so cute. And if you ever get something someday, or if I get something someday, you know, that has an opening to fit this drawer, you could just stick it in there. How cute would that be? I think of like the old, um, ways that they used to sort mail with like the open containers and I used to work at a motel and they would put the ticket like the handwritten ticket for the night like the the slip of um like your stay and we would put it in open little wood shelves very um uh, caveman like but I just think of something like that and then you could stick a drawer in it Okay, that was random. All right, guys. Well, that is everything that I have to share with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, if you'd like to know a little more of what else we've been doing this last week, check out the video where I kind of spill my guts and create this makeup look. I don't have any makeup to share with you. I don't have anything new that I've been using. Um, I've really just been enjoying my collection and delving deep. And um, yeah, I sorry I don't have any makeup this month, but that's okay. So I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day and we'll chat again soon. Bye guys.